Hi, I'm Melinda Harger, Interim Director of Municipal Services and Operations and the champion for the Connected City Outcome. This outcome focuses on having well-maintained, functional, and efficient infrastructure, facilities, and other assets in our city. We want to ensure we are providing accessible and sustainable methods for safely moving people and information throughout the community and the region. Investment in this area reflects our commitment to the well-being of all people in our community. When we talk about city assets, we are referring to anything the city owns and operates. For Lawrence, that adds up to more than $2.5 billion of assets, including buildings like City Hall and our water treatment plants, vehicles including solid waste trucks, buses, and police cars, recreation areas like the Lawrence Loop and our local parks, underground infrastructure like water distribution and stormwater collection, and other city facilities including our roads, cemeteries, and parking garages in downtown Lawrence. The city has invested in an asset management program to ensure we are maintaining our assets so that they provide value to our community well into the future. Asset management is a decision-making process in which we evaluate the condition of the assets, the cost of service for its operation, regulatory requirements, and what its capacity needs are now into the future. With this knowledge on each asset, we can understand what the long-term cost of its ownership will be so we can better plan for necessary maintenance and eventual replacement. Just like with car ownership, if you fully understand the condition of a car when it is purchased, you can better plan for minor maintenance along the way to help extend its life and prolong expensive repairs. You would rather replace the oil than the engine, right? But if you need to replace the engine, it is best to know about it ahead of time, rather than in a crisis situation. That same concept applies to our city assets. We want to know what condition they are in, when they will wear out based on how we want them to perform, how we manage the associated risk, how much it will cost to repair or replace, and how we will pay for it. Through our work in Connected City, we have identified the service level our residents expect in a variety of areas, including water, wastewater, transit, and more. Our asset management program helps us achieve the desired level of services by identifying needed resources so we can more precisely plan for budget recommendations. Here are a few examples of how we are incorporating asset management into our operations. One of our strategic plan progress indicators is the percent of sidewalks in compliance with ADA accessibility standards. We have now inventoried all sidewalks in Lawrence with the use of LiDAR mapping technology. From this sidewalk inventory, we are working on developing timelines and cost estimates to make progress on this goal. Another of our progress indicators is the cost per lane mile of city streets. With asset management, we are analyzing our streets to determine the right balance of funding that is needed to get to and maintain the quality of streets that our residents want. And my last example is related to some of our most expensive assets, our water and wastewater treatment systems. Asset management helps us determine how to optimally run the plants to not only maintain compliance with regulations, but also better plan future plant upgrades. We are currently preparing for a regulatory required $55 million plant upgrade to the Kansas River Wastewater Treatment Plant that will help us protect the water quality of the Kansas River. As you can see, our work in Connected City is a continuous cycle to get the best use out of city assets. Asset management is the key driver to make this happen, and we look forward to expanding its use to accomplish additional strategic plan goals.